Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. I'm back with Android TV running on PC. Today, I wanted to test out the PSP emulator. Now, this thing runs pretty good. It's on an Optiplex 990 with an i7-2600K, 12 gigabytes of RAM, AMD 270X graphics card, and it's running off a 60 gigabyte SSD. We're going to get into it. I'm going to be using PPSSPP. Now this is version 1.1.1. It's an older version, but it supports x86 CPUs. And first game we're going to test out is one of the hardest games to run on an Android PSP emulator, and that's God of War Chains of Olympus. Before we get into it, I wanted to show you my settings. Now, the only thing I did was change the resolution to 5x PSP. Now this is the highest resolution we can get and I turned the FPS on. Every other system that I've tried to run this on, Android, I've had to turn the resolution down to 1x PSP. I do have a save file already loaded here. And my FPS is listed in the top right hand corner and as you can see we are at 60 FPS. I have seen this dip down to 54, but this is by far the best I have seen Android run this game. Now I've tried it on my Nvidia Shield TV console and tons of other phones and I've never been able to get the performance like this. The HDMI sound is not working from my video card while running Android TV, but my 3.5 millimeter built-in audio jack does work. So I do have sound. I did not record the sound because my game capture has a funky way of doing it. Now I'm pretty amazed that it runs this well. I mean actually I'm not really that amazed. I can run this on my PC with Windows and the Windows version of the PSP emulator perfectly. But to see Android do it, it's Pretty cool. Just give you a little bit of gameplay here and check out the FPS and see if it dips any further. We'll wait for that big old crazy monster to bust through this door. We'll beat him up a little bit and then we'll switch on to the next game. Come on in, buddy. He's pretty big. But he's even bigger. So I've been able to get this at about 30 FPS on my Nvidia Shield TV console, but it really lags out when this guy comes into the picture. So I'm super stoked that this works. Um, it's pretty cool. So go on over to Geek Tale It Hurts website and check this out. Link is in the description for it. Next up, We'll try Tekken Dark Resurrection. Now I've had trouble running this on tons of other Android devices. Really laggy, really glitchy. So we're gonna see how it performs on this. And keep in mind, we are at the highest resolution the PSP emulator can reach. So I just chose Quick Battle. And if you guys watch my videos, you know I suck at this unless I'm using Eddie. Oh, random select, oops. Yeah, so I'm going to get the crap beat out of me right now, and I've just never been into Tekken for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to die here quick. But the FPS looks great. 
not much graphical glitching going on. I did notice the floor shaking a bit. And I'm not sure if my game capture could pick that up correctly. But that was a big problem with uh, other devices. Let me just go ahead and choose Eddie. And I forgot to mention, guys, I am using a PS3 controller connected with a USB cord, and it works perfectly. You can navigate the menus of Android TV and everything. So, The cutscenes here run at 30 FPS, and the gameplay runs at 60, so you'll see it switch. Oh yeah, I can already tell you I'm going to do horrible right now. Oh crap, I put fast forward on. Jeez. Not too good. I mean, obviously the gameplay is playing very well, but my skills are horrible at Tekken. I've always been more into Street Fighter. I, I don't know what it is. One of my buddies is just amazing at this game. He always choose Paul or King. He just whoops up on everybody in the arcade. So this is great. It's running this well. Ooh, I won one round. Now I'm going to get my butt beat again. I just can't pull off these moves for some reason. I know Eddie's the cheapest character, and that's why I use him, but I just can't get him going. Oh, well. We're going to move on to the last game here. Now, I will test more games if you guys are interested. I know everybody wants to see Monster Hunter and all the other good games running, but right now we're going to do Kingdom Hearts. And i got to skip this intro for you guys. We'll get right into some gameplay. Here we go. This game does only run at 30 FPS. We're still sitting at the highest resolution. And it looks amazing. This looks just as good as PS3 now. With that res turned all the way up, it looks pretty amazing. I'm running it on a 40-inch or 42-inch Samsung LED television at 1080p. And I gotta say, it looks just as good as PS3. So we're gonna start this tutorial here, and this is where it usually lags out on me with other systems when these start spinning. We'll see what it does from here. About here is when I get ultra lag on most of my other systems. Oops. Got the fast forward button mapped. Do the L2, I just keep hitting it. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Yeah, it runs really good. I'm stoked that this is working. Like I said before, guys, let me know in the comments below if you want to see any more running on here. This was just a quick test. I just wanted to make a quick video to see how everybody reacted to the Android TV on PC. So, obviously you can run this these emulators on your Windows machine. But it's pretty cool to just run it on Android. We're going to exit out of here. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to run... Well guys, that's it. That's the PPSSPP emulator running on Android TV. In turn, which is running on PC. I'm pretty sure that about... I'd give it 80% of the PSP games are going to run at full speed on this. Now, it really depends on your hardware, too. Lower-end hardware will work pretty good. Um, if you have a decent gaming PC, you should have no problem. I mean, you could run anything on this. So if you guys want to try this, the link is in the description. It will take you over to Geek Till It Hurts webpage. I'll also leave his YouTube this is really cool, guys. I am enjoying this, and 
it just runs really well. Big thing for a lot of people, and the turnoff would be no Google Play. But remember, Amazon App Store does have great apps, and they offer a lot of stuff for free that Google Play doesn't. So thanks for watching, guys. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I do have a lot more coming. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing the N64 and PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast emulators. Thanks for watching.